Okay, this is my five tips on how to survive fly and pull out working. Tip number one is have a goal. You know, you see too many people um, you work with all the time that, that start out fly and fly out working and they uh, see all this extra money come in and you, and you talk to them, it's like, oh, what are you gonna do with this money? It's like, oh, I can't wait to buy a new car. I'm gonna buy a jet ski, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go on holidays all the time. And next thing you know, they might lose their job six months down the track and they've got all this debt and they're never, never gonna get ahead. So the first tip will be set out a goal for yourself. Everyone's gonna be different, but if it's gonna be put money away to buy your first house or you wanna knock off as much money off your mortgage as you can, um, you'd need a goal. Otherwise, your money's gonna be wasted in buying materialistic stuff like your cars and stuff that are gonna get you nowhere. Two would be communicate. Now, communicate with your family, your loved ones, um, your wife, everyone like that. Now, you, you talk to so many people and they, they do the same thing. They don't talk, to, don't talk to their family enough. I think everybody should be talking to, whether it be your wife, your kids, or even your mum, your dad, whoever it is that you that you got, always talk to them every single day. Give them a quick call, just touch base, see what's going on in the real world. And I trust, trust me, by doing that, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Tip number three, we get into a routine. So if, if your roster's, even if it's two and one, three and one, four and one, whatever it is, life will be a lot easier if you set out a routine for yourself, whether it be just going for a quick walk around the camp at night, going down for the beers, go to the gym, whatever it is, play tennis with the boys, play soccer, just get into a routine, something that you can do um, to, even if it's every day, it's even better, something to look forward to every single day, but it does make your time go a lot quicker and you're not stuck in your room because the worst thing you can do when you're working fly and fly out, it's good to have rest every now and then, but the worst thing to do is stay in your room and be locked up in your room. You've got too much time to think in there. And, and yeah, so routine is, is key. Tip number four would be set out mini goals along the way for um, working like if you've got a birthday to look forward to, a holiday, wedding anniversary, anything like that, birthdays, whatever it is, but if you've got a, if you've got a small something small to work towards, it's going to make it going to make your, your swings go a little bit quicker, and you've got some little little light at the end of the tunnel after a couple of swings, something to get you through, because if you know what it's like, I know what it's like when you. You work and sort of swing after swing. It's like, oh, you know, it's it's six months till Christmas or, or whatever it is. And it, it is, it gets hard. It's just so monotonous over and over, swing over and over again. But if you can break it down and go, right, on this day, on R&R, &R, we've got a birthday, we've got whatever it is. It just has something good to work. You've got something good to work towards and it does make, does make life a lot easier. Tip number five would be find a balance for when you're on R&R. &R. Now, You've got to find time for yourself. You've definitely got to find time for yourself. You've got to have time to sort of unwind from the from the heat and from the work and everything you're doing away. And you've got to find time to spend with your wife and your family and, and your friends and everything as well. But if you can find that balance between everyone, with everything you've got going on, then you're going to be right. So hopefully these five tips help anyone, someone, um, if they have, I'm, I'm happy, it would be good. Um, and yeah, so some of them pretty obvious, some of them not so much, but um, I know some people will probably be watching this going, this guy's full of shit, but this is what's helped me, and hopefully it can help you.